are 30 miles from Tokyo, gazing at the most famous statue in all Japan, the great bronze Buddha of Kamakura. Our next slide shows us three of the most famous monkeys in the world. In the 17th century, the trio was supposed to represent India, China, and Japan. But we know it more familiarly as hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. The sumo dog. It was named after the famous sumo wrestlers, giant Japanese men weighing from 250 to 450 pounds, who win bouts by forcing opponents to touch the ground with any part of their body other than their feet. And now, we meet the fabled geisha girls at last. They are highly trained artists. Geisha means cultured person. You have just seen and heard a little of the panorama unit on Japan. Miss Clark, what is the Panorama program? Panorama is a book, film strip, and record program. This is not only a study guide, it is much more. It is a genuinely beautiful book for classroom use by both teachers and pupils. In the front of the book, there is a map that gives you an orientation to every picture in the unit. Before I present the lesson, I read the book, and especially the introduction, which is very comprehensive. Teachers will be glad to know that each book has a record pocket so that the record and book will always be together. Each unit is narrated by a distinguished person, a well-known authority. So please turn out the lights and listen to Vincent Price. The young fisherman demonstrates that children the world over are fascinated by trains. Greece is an extremely hilly country, and train tracks often run close to the water's edge, where the land is level. Our next picture shows us one of the primitive household looms that the women use. In number 22, we see a typical street scene in a little Greek village. A country woman rides to market on her donkey, which at another time might be seen hauling that brightly painted cart. Picture 23 shows us a simple fisherman's hut, gilded by the rising sun. The water, the sky, the distant mountain, here is a scene that reflects the tranquility and mystery of nature. One of the great values of the Panorama program is its currency. When these materials were produced, every effort was made to obtain the most recent pictures and information. The quality of the books, records, and film strips speaks for itself. The Panorama program is very effective for individual study for group study, for individual reading and research, and for learning through listening. The Panorama program helps me make better use of my own travel experience. This is all very convincing, Miss Clark, but the most significant question of all is, what are its actual curriculum values? I'm glad you asked that question. The Panorama units are so rich in subject matter. There are nearly 400 beautiful pictures in the film strips. See what we have learned about the world by the time we have toured 12 countries on the magic carpet of Panorama. Miss Clark, we certainly have covered a lot of territory. We hope you will enjoy happy traveling and teaching with Panorama. And the mighty spectacle of the Hound of the Baskerville. 